broadcasting from the fabulous Stardust Lanes in Minneapolis, Minnesota, Comedy Central Sports presents Let's Bowl. Today, two fierce competitors bring their bitter dispute to our lane. Brian Gerard says, I loaned my friend Al $500 in Vegas. Al Wires says, that's total bull. It wasn't really your money. You hit the jackpot and won it from the house. Now it's payback time. They'll settle their dispute right now on America's number one indoor bowling show. At all. And I'm Wally Hotback. Hey, we got a great show tonight because uh, these two guys went to Vegas. One guy wins big, loans the other guy 500 bucks. He loses it. He wants it back. Uh -huh. Now there's just good. we're going to settle it right here tonight as far as who gets the money or who doesn't. You know, Chopper, I was kidnapped in Vegas once. They took me to a minivan, but then they didn't do anything to me. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? Well. Let's go ahead and meet the rest of the gang here at Let's Bowl. He plays the keyboards for us and keeps our toes tapping. Say hi to Ernie Jensen. Ernie Jensen! <laughs> The master of love. And you know him, you love him. Oh, say hi to our lovely queen pins, Amanda and Lisa. Oh. <laughs> Don't look at them the wrong way or they'll slap you right in the face. You know that from experience. Let's Damn go ahead right and meet our first competitor tonight. Right. He is a waiter at the Atrium Cafe. Nah. Says the celebrity he'd most like to sleep with is Angelina nah. Jolie. Nah. His bowling average is 165. Please, let's give a big Let's Bowl welcome to Brian Gerard. Come on down, Brian. Hey, Brian, nice to have you on Let's Bowl. So let me see if I got this story right. You and your buddy go to Las Vegas. You win big. You loan him 500 bucks. He puts it down on the Vikings to win in the Vikings-Giants playoff game. 41 to nothing, embarrassing loss. And now what? All I gotta say is the key word is loan. I loaned him $500, he lost it, he owes me money. But now if you lose, are you willing to uh, forgive the debt? Absolutely. You're not a, you're not a sandal wearer, are you? No. Good. Well, let's meet the other half of the story. He is a bartender, also yeah. at the Atrium Cafe. Says the celebrity he'd most like to sleep with is Bridget Fonda. Has oh, a bowling yeah. average of 161. Please let's make him feel welcome, Al Wire. Come on out, Al. So, Al, uh, tell us a little bit of your side of this whole story. Well, Brian's up $2,000. I'm uh -huh. down almost to nothing. Brian said, well, here, here's $500. The operative word loan was never used at the time. Uh -huh. And I took the $500. I, shot, I thought I had a sure thing, Vikings versus the Giants. And um, then Brian lost the rest of his $1,500 over the next day and a half. And now he wants his money back. Wow, this Brian guy sounds like a real weasel. <laughs> well, we're going to settle it all right here tonight, Wally. Yeah, they're not doing this just for their health, are they, Chopper? They're going to mm. win some pretty fabulous prizes. They are indeed, Ernie. Why, he'll win a trip for two to Las Vegas. Now, this may be where all their trouble started, but Lady Vegas is a forgiving mistress, so let the healing begin. Plus, if our winner also goes on to tie or beat our league bowler, he'll win our grand prize, an ice fishing package. This prize includes a portable ice fishing house, a gasoline-powered auger, a pair of tip-ups, a portable LP heater, and an ice scoop. Fish through ice. Total package value of $700. Good luck, bowlers. <laughs> well, that's quite a package. Ice fishing. Last time I went ice fishing, Chopper, my car went through the ice. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. It wasn't my car. Oh, <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. We're going to get bowling underway, but I uh, want to remind everyone that our competitors tonight can uh, use the distraction option at any time during tonight's match. Yep. So what is the distraction option? Well, it's quite simply this. When deemed appropriate by one of the competitors, they can sneak up behind the other and blast them with an air oh, yeah. horn or the bullhorn. Hey, you stink. Yeah. Uh, you're going to miss. Now, let's see. Brian uh, Gerard bowls first because on Let's Bowl, the guy with the fewest cavities goes first. Brian, let's go. I've been having to work on my cavities lately. It's a bitch doing your own dental work. Crowns you do your own? Yeah. Wow. Grandma's teeth in the middle is what we call that one. Leaves a bunch of stuff yeah. in the middle. Speaking of grandma's teeth, I mean, doing your own crowns is a total pain in the ass. Total pain in the ass. You gotta file them down and mold them just right. Brian says he collects fit. vinyl. What does that mean? It could mean a lot of things, Chopper. Oh, oh, I got that picks up the spare. Take a look at the replay. Picks up the spare, makes it look easy. Al is up. He's a bartender and a musician by trade. Rolling average of 161. Al's the guy that uh, stiffed his buddy for the 500 bucks. Oh, nice shot. Uh, oh. Oh, all right. Nice shot. All right, nice shot. Let's see if he can pick up the spare. Number seven lingering on the far left. It looks like he got his hair off a JCPenney mannequin, but he's one hell of a bowler. 
And here we go. Let's see if they oh, pick up no. the spare. Not no, even no, close. No. And Al starts out with an open frame. We have a tie. Oh, no, no, I don't think so. <laughs> no, we don't? No. <laughs> I thought we had a tie. No. Oh, well. Brian works as a waiter in a restaurant and has a horrible gambling problem. Well, he also collects records and uh, likes music. Oh. And he has a horrible gambling problem. Let's take a look at a replay on this one. He's got pretty good form here, but whoa, the destruction option into play early. That was the soonest I've ever seen the destruction. Yeah, exactly, in the first frame. He can't use the distraction option again. And, oh, good uh, shot. Wow. So now currently our score, 19 pins for Brian with a spare going into the third frame and uh, nine for Al. Come on, make it happen, Al. I don't care what anybody says, I like Al. He's my kind of guy. I hope Al kicks Brian's ass. <laughs> Al's very serious about this, man. Look at him. <laughs> Holy cow. Is he going to pick up the spare? Indeed he is. Oh, yeah. yeah. Take a look. 19 for Brian with a uh, spare going into the third frame. Nine for Al going into the third frame with a spare. Now it's my chance to really cross the line and get really into this dispute when we go in the pin. Welcome to my pin. Come on, have a seat. Go ahead. Thank you for joining me in my pin tonight, Al. Thank you. Very cozy. Do you mind if I smoke? No, go ahead. Thank you. Brian, welcome to my pin. Glad to be here, Wally. Would you like a scotch? I'd love one. Thank you. Al, tell me more about this whole dispute with this $500. Brian gave me $500 out of his winnings and said, here, here, just go have fun. I didn't think that meant that he was just going to run wild with it. I didn't think we needed a contract if I was just going to loan him some money. You and Al, do you go back a long ways? I know. Uh, Brian, what, what, what the hell? Dude, you stink, man. That was you? Yeah, sure it was. No, it was you. <laughs> How come you come into my pen and, and gas it all up and bomb it full of your farts? Al, explain sexing up to me. I don't know what sexing up is. Oh, oh Brian, come on. You're a buddy. Bat. Al Wires, who's going to win this match? Well, I think Brian's a better bowler, but I think I've really got it going on today. Brian Gerard, who will win this match? Me, absolutely. It's bad enough i got to be locked up in here with you freaks and animals. Ugh. Wow, are they serious about that or what? Holy Boy, cow, Wally, you're intense. Yeah. I always eat a big bag of onions before I go into that thing. Well, and I'm sure they appreciate that. Our score currently 19 pins for Brian with a spare going into the third frame. Nine for Al with a spare. We have lots more bowling yep. to go. Plus, inside, inside bowling, bowling. too. <laughs> when we come back, stay where you are, folks. Oh, boy. It's going to be so much freaking fun. Oh, yeah. There's Ron at the uh, Minneapolis Impound Lot. Oh, oh, what a great guy. You know, he, Jabber, he saved my life once. He let me out of a trunk. And welcome back to Stardust Lanes in South Minneapolis. Our competitors tonight. Now, Beautiful Brian South and Al go to Vegas. Brian wins big, loans Al $500. Brian says, you owe me $500. Al says, not a chance. You gave it to me. It was a gift. You were feeling generous. That's, the, that's what's happening right now. And while we were away, our bowlers continued. After three frames, Brian had 45 and Al had 28 with a spare up. And in the fourth frame, Brian had 54 and Al 48 with a strike up. Also in the fourth frame, Wally appeared to be abusing his name. Nasal decongestant spot. Well, let's get our oh, into frame number yeah. five. Let's Brian, get back to ball. It says here that Brian uh, has no allergies. Oh. Oh. I'm allergic to everything. You are? Spray paint, gold spray paint, airplane glue, silver spray paint, brush, nitrous oxide, everything. And uh, here we go, ah, trying to pick up the spare. Chance going to leave an open frame that time. Uh, puts him at 63 pins, and uh, let's get Al going in frame number five with a strike up. Uh, if Chopper. Oh, oh, do you oh, see oh, what oh, I see? Yes, I do. Oh my God, it's the death pin. It's the death frame. Now, when we see the death frame, what that means is one of our bowlers has a chance to win some really swell prizes. Ernie? It's a skull ball. Yes, impress your girl. Or be the toast of moonlight bowling with this creepy skull ball from Ebonite. Scary, but oh so cool. Oh, Ernie, you scared the crap out of me. Let's see what happens here. He's really the crowd favorite now. I think he is, yeah. Oh. 
<laughs> he doesn't do it, but he does have a chance to pick up the spear here. So the cops have been called to his house twice. That's good. I respect that. I like Al's style. I hate cops. Oh, he didn't get the skull pin. We are now at 70 for Al, 63 for Brian. Now, we're going to let our bowlers continue, but we're going to watch Inside Bowling. Bowling centers are a great place to meet that special someone. Tonight on Inside Bowling, I give you my tried and true tips on dating. Before you even go on a date, make sure you're well-groomed. Wear clean, stylish clothes. Go that extra mile. To be positive, you're in ship shape. Mm. Not bad. And leave your ID in a safe, secure place. <laughs> Compliment your date by showing interest in her. Find out about her background. Always ask your date, are you a cop? cop. No. Okay. <laughs> Just asking. <laughs> Decide how much you want to spend on your date and always set the price Here. up front. You don't want a confrontation at the end of your date, which can lead to all sorts of problems. Come on! In today's hustle and bustle world, everyone's short on time. You might wish to determine the length of your date. Discuss with your date how long of a date you desire. Most dates last 15 minutes, although some dates last an hour. A half hour seems to work the best. to your date about bringing a friend or companion. Think of it as kind of a double date. No, sure, we need two. No, we need, I, I, yeah, I, I, no, hey, no, shut no, up, no, no, we need two dates. Yeah, I knew I saw another one when we were driving by, standing there. Ah! Hey, boy. Hi. How are y'all doing? Oh, uh, good, we're doing real good. Get a referral. One of the best ways to find a date is through an associate or friend of your potential date. Not for me. Yeah. The associate will usually be able to steer you in the right direction and enable you to meet the precise date you're looking for. Big butt. I show it's funny, yeah. man. Yeah. How's right. a talking cat? It hey, talks. Hey, it's, is that Never get as high as your date. Well, I, I, you know how to do it. Yeah. Do the, the Come on. And finally, never get married. Always date. After all, no one ever lost their house dating. That was so expensive! Uh, I could have done that myself! Uh oh, there you go. Inside bowling. Hey, our score Bye, 63 for uh, Brian and 70 for Al. It's a very close game. We're going to continue bowling and we'll take a quick break and come back right after this. Enjoy those commercials. <laughs> Welcome back. There we're looking at a live shot of Perky's Restaurant, located in beautiful St. Paul, Minnesota, the home of America's finest hamburgers. Uh, it's a great place, Perky's. It <laughs> sure is, Chopper. Yeah. Great place to go when you're all bombed in the middle of the night. You need to get something greasy and crappy inside your guts to soak up all the booze. <laughs> While we were away, our bowlers continued. In the sixth frame, Brian stood at 63 with a spare up, and Al had 79. And after seven frames, Brian had 79 with a spare up, and Al had 86. Nice competition going on. Let's go ahead and bowl frame number eight. It says here that Brian uh, likes to sex up his girlfriend so she'll buy him things. Really? Yeah. When I was in the Marine Corps, we didn't call it sexing up. We called it ambush. I didn't know you were in the Marine Corps. Oh, no, no, I meant uh, junior achievement. See if we can get this spare. Oh, he did it! Yes, he does! <laughs> nice! Always nice. Nice. Very nice indeed. He hooked so. it right on that, that end of the lane there, and the, right in the, the earliest portion of the lane. He didn't hook anything. Sherry did. He Shot hooked it. Shot it straight down the center, man. Now he hooked it. Why do you have to disagree with everything I say, Chopper? Let's see what I can do this I can time. Commentate, I can commentate too, you know. I understand. Here we go, down the middle of the lanes it goes, and oh, oh, oh. You think I can't commentate? I'm just as good as you. I don't deny it. You think you can pick up this spare? You always, you always negate whatever I say. You, uh, think you can get these I'm church, of church steeples over here? Well, huh? you should know. You're the big bowling man around here. I don't think he can do it. I'm a moron, I guess. Quite, quite honestly, I don't think he can do it. <laughs> oh, he got one. 
Speaking of oily lanes, <laughs> let's see that one again, shall we? We don't get to see it very often. Here it is, nice form, slide, and <laughs> down he goes. Is he all right? Uh, oh. You know, it's always funny when somebody falls on his ass. It's only my bad knee. Oh, that's right, he does have poor, a bad knee, too. Poor bastard. Man, this crouch, shut up! This crowd is just nuts today. 92 pins for Al. Drinking got since 98 for morning the or something. For Ryan. And he leaves the entire left side. That would be the Brooklyn Dunn easy. One, two, four, and seven. Leaves them all standing in a row. And again, now Brian's the guy that uh, that won all the money in Las ah. Vegas. Brian says he wants the money back. Al says it was a gift. Now that Brian's doing better, I don't like Al anymore. I used to like Al. You were a big Al guy. No, you? now I like Brian. <laughs> Got the same thing. Leaves the church steeples one That's more time. Freaky. Two on either side. That's freaky. It is kind of freaky. It doesn't happen very often. He's working some kind of weird voodoo mojo here. I mean, he looks like Eddie Munster, so he must have some kind of power. He says he broke his wrist at one point. Come on, Al. Get that split. Okay. Oh, he only uh, got one of them. All right, another open frame for Al. 17 yep. pins between these two guys. $500 on the line. On the we're going to find out how it ends after yes, this. When we come back, we're going to finish this out, and we're going to go up against the league bowler. Oh, I like it. Shaking their junk all over the place. Welcome back Welcome to Let's back. Bowl from right. Stardust Lane Here to beautiful are. South Minneapolis. We have a great game underway. 17 pins divide these guys. 123 for Brian, 106 for Al. And, uh, you know, there's $500 at stake as we enter frame number 10 on this exciting edition of Let's Bowl. Oh, the crowd's just going nuts. I love that. Uh, nice lob down the lane, and he knocks it. That's a great play in frame number 10. That's really good right. news. Take That's a look a at the replay on this one. That's a big strike in That's frame number big, 10. Big, big strike, Chopper. Big there strike. we go. Pull the rug out under that one knock them all down. Well, I guess all the pot, drugs, and partying paid off. Here we go. Looking good one more time. No, it doesn't look good. No, it doesn't look good at all, does it? That would be your grandma's teeth. We left them all up there. I think these two might need a 12-step program after this. I did it. I condensed it all down into one step. It almost killed me, but I did it. <laughs> Was it effective? Yeah, now I can drink, and I don't really have a problem with it anymore. Here we go, trying to pick up the spare. Look at it! He picks up the spares. That is great news. I'm telling you what. Take a look at the replay on this one. This wow. it seems an impossible split to pick up or a spare to that pick up. That was a good shot. Ryan's final score, 143. Break out the checkbook, Al. You know, Chopper, I've done some strange things for money myself. Oh, really? I mailed cats. They didn't like it. Oh, they got angry. Really mad at me for milking them. Taking their milk from them. Let's see what happens here. Let's see what he can do. Oh, no, nuts! You can really cut the tension in this room with a knife. I'm feeling so stressed I can't control my bladder. Oh my gosh. Uh, boy, it hurts. Oh, something down there hurts. I don't know what it was. It might have been my injury from the Marine Corps. I mean, uh, junior achievement. I don't know what it was. Leaving an open frame for Al. And the winner is Brian with 143 to oh. Al's 112. Congratulations to Brian. And Al's going to be writing a check. Let's go talk to him, shall we? Come on, Al. you guys. All right, Brian, you are tonight's big winner on Let's Bowl. Yep. You want a trip to Las Vegas. Who are you going to take? I'll probably take Al. Just see, I'll see if I can uh, get an extra 500 bucks. Al, uh, do you cut your hair with a lighter? Sometimes I do. Sometimes. <laughs> Good. I guess you have a little uh, check or a little payment here for Brian, don't you? Yeah, I've got something, Brian. Now I know how the Vikings felt in January. I bet you do. There you go. There it is. All right. All right. There you go. goes home empty handed on Let's Bowl, do they? No, they don't, Al. Yep. You get to go away with a Let's Bowl prize package consisting of a brand new pair of shoes, yep. a shirt, right. and a bowling ball, all from Let's Bowl. The pig has all that for you over there, Al. Go see the pig. All right, Brian, now it's time to go up against our league bowler for the big, big prize. And our league bowler bowls in Columbia Heights at Mady's Lanes. Please, let's welcome Brett Mady. Come on up, Brett Mady. 
So, Brett, uh, how are you feeling tonight? I feel great, Wally. How many perfect games have you had? I've had one 300, uh, 299. My high series is 790. Wow. What size ball do you use? A uh, 15-pound. A uh, 15-pound ball. What do you use? 14. Oh, that's close. They both use big balls, Chopper. Yeah, yes, they do. <laughs> Brian, here's what's going to happen. Brett is going to throw one ball. You need to match or beat his match score beat. Right. to go home with the ice fishing package. Are you ready? Are you ready? ready. All right. Okay, let's go. Brett, let's go ahead and get you going. <laughs> Brett Mady, powerful, skilled bowler with a 15-pound ball. Here he goes. Nice shot. Oh, oh boy. down. They call it a strike. Oh. And Brian has a big, big job Brian. ahead of him. The crowd loves him. Here goes Brian. Come on, Brian. All the marbles, the big ice fishing package right here. He's really, really concentrating. Let's see what he can do. Oh, oh. nuts. Oh, leaves two standing. Oh, too bad. bad. You didn't win the big, uh, the big ice fish. Oh, well. How's but you got a trip to Vegas? Vegas, baby. Oh That's yeah. All that matters. <laughs> all right. Hey, come on in, come everybody. On in, everybody. That's gonna wrap up this episode of Let's Bowl. Please support your local bowling center and join us again next time for Let's, Let's Bowl. Bowl. Hey, let's go bowling. Everyone's learning how. Choose your shoes, lose your blues. Nothing can stop us now. Say, let's go bowling. See the ten shiny pins. Take your aim. What a frame. Here's where the fun begins.